I think Brookings itself is a gorgeous city. I mean, we're a tree community. We are a Purple Heart campus. We support our veterans, which is something that I, I hold dear to my heart. Um, and nothing is that far away. Uh, we are constantly growing. Um, they do a lot of activities that help support the community and very family orientated. So whether you're trying to raise a family, this is a great place to do so, or whether you're retiring, it's a great place to live. What you do find once you get to Brookings or get to campus, is the people are really nice. And it is a nice place. It's got four seasons. You gotta like four seasons, but it's got a nice summer and it's got a nice winter. I think one of the things that I really highlight that makes Brookings uh, the place that I love living is that we have a lot going on throughout our community. You can go downtown on a Thursday night in the summer and find businesses open and live music and tons of folks just enjoying the fact that they can be together. Um, you've got neighborhoods that have really close-knit communities. You've got school systems that give you a chance to interact with a lot of folks. Um, I, I can't think of a place I would rather live while I'm working on a college campus than Brookings, South Dakota. I would never been to South Dakota before I interviewed here. And so I thought, well, this will be fun. For the follow-up interview, my husband came with me and together we really fell in love with Brookings and with, with SDSU. Everything from just any store or, or business that you go into in Brookings, people, people know you and, and talk to you. I think Brookings is a really unique place. It feels very safe, um, but at the same time, very cosmopolitan. There's something going on on campus or in the community every night. If you're bored, probably your own fault because there's plenty to do. 